Hey everyone, so I hope you're all okay. Welcome back to my channel and hello to an all pink video. So today we're going to get straight into it and back to the cleaning. I thought I would do something a little bit different today and challenge myself to clean with all pink products. So as you can see, it's a beautiful array of pink products here. Now the original plan was to do like an entire deep clean of my house with all pink products, but because I was doing like a proper deep clean today, like oven, microwave, fridge, the lot, the footage ended up being like 22 minutes by the time it was like condensed down and edited. So I didn't want to bore you and do any more. And to be honest with you, it took me long enough to do the kitchen. So yeah, we're just doing a pure deep clean of the kitchen today using these pink products. I may like get on to doing like bathroom, um, living room, bedroom and everything else of the pink thing. So let me know if you want to see like part two and I can do all the rest of the rooms with part two. But yeah, because the kitchen is quite like a big project in its own, I just thought we'd do the kitchen. But yeah, as you can see, here's all the products I picked up. Now, I do just want to say as well, this video is just a little bit of fun. Just thought it'd be something a little bit different. Just like a little twist to normal cleaning because I've already done like a deep clean a couple of weeks ago. So yeah, like I said, just something a little bit different. Don't take it too serious, guys. It's just all fun and game. Hey guys, we're going to jump on straight into the video, so I really hope you enjoy it. Remember to hit the thumbs up and also subscribe if you are new here. It would mean the absolute world to me. So yeah, let's get on with it. So one of the first things I like to do before I start my cleaning is just take a wax melt and just light it. This is one of the rhubarb ones. It's pink, it smells amazing. So that is step number one. Then I'm going to put on my new pink little slippers. They're then microfiber ones. I actually clean the four floor i love them they're just so cute so pop them on already and then next up you know the score i'm gonna make myself a lovely cup of coffee i've actually picked up a new mug which says live laugh love i absolutely adore this mug i got it from the range it was 3 99 i'm also using a pink coffee capsule and yeah i'm just popping that in and popping the cup underneath um i'm actually gonna make myself a cold coffee today it's just so humid at the moment i just can't really bring myself to uh, drinking hot drinks so yeah i'm gonna do that Then just taking my favourite non-milk milk, which is the oat drink, um, Oatly Barista style. Just pouring that in and then a load of ice cubes to make it nice and cold. And then I'm just going to grab myself this little pink flamingo straw because why not? Have you come to help mummy clean? It can't be a cleaning video about you, can it? Everybody's been asking about you. Who's that? Next thing I like to do whenever I'm cleaning is always ventilate my house. I feel like I had so much stick for this on my last video, but I do always open windows when I'm cleaning because it's so important if you're using chemicals. And then there's little Boo just being so cute and adorable. So, here is a little before of this disgusting mess that needs cleaning up. It was a Saturday night. Takeaway was on the cards, and you know when you're just like, I'll tidy up later, but then you end up falling asleep and just think, I'll start it, do it in the morning. That was exactly what sort of night it is. So yeah, it wouldn't normally be this messy. So I'm just going to go straight in and just start cleaning everything away from the work tops, putting things back in the cupboards and disposing of last night's Indian. Also, I know someone's going to pull me up on this. Yes, the cat's eating um, its food on the work top. It doesn't normally eat there, but little buddy was trying to steal his food and obviously I need to make sure all my cats eat their food. I know it's not the most hygienic place, but look guys, I do always clean it down. Like, I don't know, everyone's going to have each their own standards of cleaning and stuff. Like, I don't see a problem as long as it's all disinfected and cleaned down afterwards. So, yeah. And also, one other thing, I don't actually prepare food on this worktop. I always prepare food on my back worktop. So, yeah, hopefully that's covered the disclaimers because, God, there's always some haters. Next, I'm simply emptying the dishwasher. One of my least favourite jobs in the whole entire world. But, to be honest with you, I'm really blessed to have a dishwasher because I absolutely hate washing up. So, yeah. Um
let's start with the sinks. I'm gonna take the pink stuff paste, some scrub buddies in pink, and also some pink cleaning gloves. I've actually never used this pink stuff, so I'm so excited. It's like a little pink paste. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna take this scrub buddy um, and simply grab the paste and just put it on the end of it and just scrub around the whole entire sink and get it sparkling. I also wanted to point out that this is actually non-toxic, 99% natural ingredients, non-hazard, and yeah, it, it, it's quite good. So yeah, thumbs up. So after you've obviously worked all the paste in, you want to rinse it down. So as you can see, I'm just simply running some water and rinsing all of the product off the sink. So I'm pretty sure you can already see how amazing this stuff is and honestly, I am so blown away. I actually think it is maybe better than my SIF. Like look how sparkling clean that is. So, so impressed and it's really affordable as well. I think it was only about one to two pounds um, and I got mine from home, no, not home bargains. I got it from the range for anyone wondering. Up, I'm simply taking my dirty sort of like dish class, microwave class, whatever you want to call them, taking some pink surf um, and just putting a few spoonfuls of this in and then also just some fabric conditioner and then I'm going to put some boiling hot water in and just, oh yeah, wait, I'm, I'm actually going to put some softballs in as well, I didn't realise I was doing that, then boiling hot water and then yeah as you can see that's all dissolving lovely like all them little unstoppable capsules it smells amazing and yeah i'm just sort of going to swish them around and then i will rinse this off um, and then i'll pop them into the tumble dryer just to dry and this just really cleans them um and scrubs them up like new and they smell amazing right next up we're on to the sides antibacterial method non-toxic absolutely love it um it's environmental friendly as well just want to point them in because i feel like if i never point this in i get so much hate. but i do on a regular try to always use like non-toxic and environmental environmental friendly products guys so yeah obviously because this video is a pink video not all of them are non-toxic and obviously environmental friendly but I do on a regular try and use non-toxic and environmental friendly products so back to the cleaning as you can see I'm using the pink stuff sort of like antibacterial multi-purpose spray it's actually brand new never use this it just say it's streak free obviously I've not got any mirror and glass spray because nothing was pink and um, so I'm having to use this instead to clean my smegs um, we shall see if it smears or not I've, I'm not holding out hope because it is a multi-purpose spray um, and then I'm simply going to clean down my sides as well sides shelves um, and also just give a wipe over of my tea coffee and sugar jars <laughs> Moving on to the hob, um, I'm using the pink stuff again because apparently this is really good for like stains and grease um, and it actually smells really fresh and clean I want to add and I do think it actually does a really good job of cleaning um, so yeah I'm just cleaning all of that. Yeah, this is the after sparkling and shrink free. So now we're going to move on to the cooker. I've actually never deep cleaned this cooker since I've moved in. And judging by the looks of it as well, it never got cleaned before I moved in. So yeah, it's absolutely disgusting. I'm actually really embarrassed. I didn't realize how actual bad it was inside. I guess you never really look so closely. So getting straight to work, I'm just going to take out all the shelves and all the rackings first of all and then I'm going to take my trusty The Pink Stuff um, to try and tackle this. I've seen a lot of people use this for cookers so I'm hoping it's really good. Um, I'm going to use a scrub buddy. I would normally use like a scrub daddy, something a little bit more like abrasive and you know sharper surface because I feel like that's what it needs with all these little black bits but we'll see how well the scrub buddy um, works and also The Pink Stuff just on its own. One thing I definitely will say is you do need a lot of elbow grease with this product. Like you need to really, really scrub. It's not something that, you know, gets rid of the product really easily. Um, so yeah, I will say that. 
Then doing the same thing with the oven door um, and obviously taking the pink stuff. I feel like the oven door was so much easier to do, um, just using the scrub buddy and the pink stuff. The Just the marks in the dirt came off so much easier, you didn't have to scrub as hard. So yeah, I would definitely recommend the pink stuff for this, it really came off so easily. Now to tackle the inside of the cooker and oh my goodness, I can't believe how filthy this is. I honestly don't think no one ever cleaned it when they lived here before me. Um, so yeah, I feel like I'm going to have to get some like proper oven cleaner for this. But as you can see, I am using the pink stuff and it is getting rid of a lot of it. Not all of it, but it is getting rid of a lot of the dirt. Um, but yeah, I do feel that for ovens, you do need something a little bit more industrial. Especially if like my cooker, it hasn't been cleaned and the stains are just so tough to get rid of. Especially like the real like black burnty dirty ones um so yeah you can get like real like high strength oven stuff obviously don't breathe them in and make sure you like open plenty of windows if you do use that sort of stuff but i definitely think that i'm gonna have to invest in something like that just to finish it off and clean it up a little bit more now i'm doing the racks um and again they, they were just filthy they were so black and just covered with absolute dirt So anyway, I just repeated all them processes on all of the other wires and I rinsed down the oven and this is what it looks like after. Obviously there still are so many stains in there that like I said are quite hard wearing. Need something a little bit stronger but it definitely did clean um, and get rid of a lot of grime so it's a lot better than what it was, let's put it that way. Next I'm going to move on to the microwave and just do the exact same thing because again I don't really think this has been cleaned since I moved in which is really really bad. I need to probably start incorporating this into my sort of like monthly cleaning routine. How often does everyone clean their oven and microwave? Let me know. Um, but yeah, using the pink stuff again and the scrub buddy just to really give this a good deep clean. Moving on to the worktops, I'm using the pink stuff to clean down the worktops um, and yeah, just taking a microfiber cloth and just rinsing them down. So, whilst I was cleaning the worktops, I noticed some stains. I feel like this was from the curry, them little yellow stains. Can you see them? So, I'm using some of the pink stuff again just to try and get rid of these. And oh my goodness, they came out so easily. Now, I'm moving back onto the smegs. They did smear. They did smear, guys. And oh my god, it just gives me anxiety looking at smears on my smegs. So, I managed to find another pink product, the Johnson's Baby Oil. So, I'm just taking a dry microfiber cloth putting a little bit of the Johnson's baby oil on and just wiping them down. Um, I have used this before on my stainless steel and it does come up really good so I know that this will work and not stain them. So yes, I'm going to leave them nice and sparkling clean just how they should be. Moving on to the next part of the worktop, which is where my coffee machine is. So I'm just again taking my Method rhubarb antibacterial spray and just giving the worktop a good spray down. I'm then cleaning my coffee machine, taking some Fairy to rinse out where the coffee capsules live. I'm um, just giving that a good scrub and popping that back. And then doing the same with the bottom tray because again this gets filthy as well so these are just like regular things I do um, weekly and then again I'm taking the Johnson's baby oil just to buff up and give the stainless seal a nice shine.
So moving on to the cupboard doors, I like to do this again weekly, just go over with some antibacterial spray and I also like to take some um, either Zaflora or fake Zaflora, the Fabulosa. The Fabulosa is in watermelon, watermelon scent like I've already said and oh my god it smells divine. So yeah, I firstly just obviously clean it with the antibacterial spray and then I go over it with the um, Fabulosa um, and this just helps it smell absolutely incredible. Next on to the dreaded bins. I absolutely hate cleaning bins. Um, so I'm just taking out the rubbish. They weren't overly full, but because it is part of like my weekly clean, I want them all fresh for the beginning of the new week. So I'm just taking some antibacterial spray again, just spraying them down and then obviously getting just a clean cloth. This will go in the wash after, by the way, guys, and also the scrub body will go in the wash after. Again, I feel like I have to explain these things because people somehow like to assume that I would clean something that I've cleaned the bin with on like my plates and stuff. No, obviously I wouldn't do that. So yeah, I'm just giving um, the bin and the insides a really good scrub down. Taking some unstoppables and popping these at the bottom of the bin, it just helps make your bin smell amazing, honestly. Oh, they smell so fresh with this in. And then taking some Zaflora as well. I'm just putting half a capsule in each to the each of the bins. I would normally put this um, on some, what is it, some kitchen roll. But obviously that's not pink, so can't really use that. So, yeah, fresh bins. Next, I'm taking this pink fabric spray and just spraying my flowers. This just leaves them smelling insane. And then we're on to the fridge. Oh, my God. This hasn't been cleaned in forever. So, I really want to give a nice for a deep clean of the fridge. So, as you can see it's quite filthy and there's a lot of stuff that needs chucking away as well so yeah I'm just gonna go through the entire tea of my fridge just take everything out first to begin with and then um, yeah get cleaning So as you can see, I'm just sort of taking shelf by shelf and cleaning it as I go and then popping the things back on. Um, yeah, pretty simple. So there you go, a nice sparkling clean fridge. How satisfying is it looking in your fridge and just seeing it really clean and just everything in date um, and everything that you need to use? So satisfying. Next, I'm on to hoovering. So I'm just doing a quick hoover. I know my hoover's not pink, but come on guys, I do need to hoover because the floor was absolutely filthy with bits. So I'm just doing that. Then I'm taking my Method All Floor Cleaner. Again, this is non-toxic, surface safe, plant-based. Told you I use, you know, non-toxic stuff, guys. This is something that's always in my cupboard. Um, and I love it as well because you just simply spray it on the floor and then just take your mop and go over it. You don't have to, like, dilute it or anything. So, yeah, it's really good. So moving on to the last step guys and the last thing I like to do is simply steam my kitchen with a nice fragrance. So I'm taking my favourite fabric conditioner, some unstoppables um, and some hot water. So obviously when you add the hot water the unstoppables do melt and they just let off the most amazing aroma ever. Honestly it is insane. And yeah, that is it guys. The kitchen is all sparkling clean. I really, really hope you have enjoyed this little twist um, on a come clean with me, deep clean, pink style. Make sure you do give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you are new here. And yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.